Man, you know this weekend I was on the <laughs> Miles yeah. that yak. Hi, hi, Mr. Sharp. You need a quit skip. You need a quit Let's skip. Celebrate. You need a quit skip. I'm on the mile in the hand in that hen dog. Y'all mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> but let me stop being a coon. Anyway, <laughs> what's going on, y'all? What's going on, y'all? What it do? What it do? What it do? It is your favorite podcast. Yes, it is. The Physics Study Group hashtag hey. TPSG. Oh, live in front. I mean, filmed live in front of a live studio audience. Yeah, oh Woo! my god! That guy broke in again. Yeah. Where, where, He's so vulgar. Where does yeah. he come from? I don't he know. Gonna wash his mouth does out. Does he have any so home training? Like word. OMG. Every time. But as every week, I'm your boy, uh, Dramatic, aka Wave Chappelle. Not too wavy, you need to hit the barber, but eh. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Flocka Zulu, aka Sir Blackstein III, aka uh. Pablo Escovich. And it's your boy David Bomari, aka Chica Fantasco, aka Sirac Obama. Two, three. AKA Debo. What bike? Bye. What bike? My bike, bike now. Nah. <laughs> you know the beach cruise. And you know it's you? your boy <laughs> Black Dynamite, aka Shabby. <laughs> Shabby Ranks. Shabby Rankin. More fire. Shabby and Rank. fellas. What's up? What uh, are you two? It has been a jam packed week for good reasons and terrible reasons. Yeah. Um, mm. If you haven't heard, about the uh, Las Vegas uh, shooting mm. um, at a country concert. I forgot the name of the concert, but yeah, like now they said it, well, not now, when it happened, they said it was the worst mass shooting in American history. At, I, I think now they said it's 59 people dead and like yeah. 600 injured. Wow. Yeah, so he sprayed on over 500 people. That's that's a crazy ass number to think about. Yeah. Stephen Paddock, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, Stephen Paddock, fucking white <clears throat> terrorist. Call him what the fuck he is. Well, before we get to bashing this asshole, yeah. uh, let's have a moment of silence for the people that lost their lives. Yeah, a quick moment of silence. And, we're and fuck you, white terrorists. So. <laughs> <laughs> but condolences and blessings and prayers are the you know, people that lost loved ones. Yeah. But yeah, man, like, you, I, I want to start it off. I saw this tweet that said, uh, um, th- this kid tweeted, he said, this is the... Fifth time I've seen this headline, you know, with Virginia Tech, with the uh, Aurora Theater, mm. with Sandy Hook, mm. with, you know, other shooting. He said, this is like the fourth time I've seen this is the deadliest mass shooting in America. He said, and I'm 22 years old. Wow. And that put shit into perspective. Like, damn, you dog. Right. They, they've been breaking that threshold, like, pretty yeah. often uh, of late. Consistently, yeah. damn. Wasn't, yeah. wasn't the Orlando? One oh, yeah. That's the Orlando. Right. That was the oh, last That was just yeah. Post Nightclub. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that was the last worst. Year? Or this year? Um, last like 17, year. I think it was, it was last like the year. end of last year, though. It was like, yeah, it around that, that time. Ago, man. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't long ago at all. But yeah, like that put shit in perspective, like how often this shit is happening. Like that's mm. that's not something you should get used to, dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's... Mm. Yeah. You're absolutely right, though. It isn't something we should get used to. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, and it's... I mean, someone should put some kind of safeguards or some kind of measures in place to kind of prevent something like this from happening mm-hmm. over and mm-hmm. over again. Word. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like a mass shooting happens, everyone bumps up security, and then they forget about it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then another it, one happens. Yeah, it, it's just like a temporary fix. They need mm-hmm. a permanent fix. It's just, and when I say temporary, it's something that will last like a year, six months, maybe two years, and then something else will happen. Because, like you just said, look how recently Pulse happened. In, in a situation like that, you can't really control, um, you know, everyone checking into a hotel and what they're carrying in their bags unless you got x-rays at the damn door to each hotel (laughs) Um, and then on top of it like having these types of events like there's no there's i don't think there's any way to really full-on or have a foolproof plan to prevent Mm -hmm. something like like this happening again but uh people can be vigilant Mm -hmm. yeah in general we could pay more attention Uh, yeah that's true and we need to have the um the gun regulation conversation. Mm-hmm. You know, gun lobbyists. You know, the NRA. They want to squash that quick. Mm-hmm. You know of what I'm course. saying? But you know, it it it's to a point where it only makes sense. You know, you you can't. It's like it's like driving. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know, speed limits make sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Does it prevent people from crashing at all? No. 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 But it helps. Yeah. Because if they weren't there, the yeah. Mm-hmm. It would be chaos. Yeah. But even more just in the fact that this is an incident with guns and people were murdered, um, as far as gun control goes, 
this man had an attachment on his gun that made it more deadly. He mm-hmm. had something called yeah. a bump stop, mm-hmm. which basically, yeah. in a sense, turns your gun like an automatic weapon because it uses the recoil from the gun when it goes off to basically push the trigger right back into your fingers. So it's just constantly cock, 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 cock going off. Yeah. Wow. So mm-hmm. almost as fast as a, a mm-hmm. regular machine gun or whatever you want to call it. And mm-hmm. that's what he was using. He was just spraying for about 9 to 11 minutes. And that that's yeah. a cheap $100 attachment. Yeah, that's and legal. something that falls within the loophole of what's legal mm-hmm. yeah. with mm-hmm. gun control, even though it because it's not considered an automatic weapon because it's an external attachment. It's exactly. not mechanical. Which is really fucked up because it causes just as much damage. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, and um, <clears throat> it, but then on the topic of automatic weapons, like someone was telling me, like he said, if they had like something like a shotgun or a hunting rifle or a pistol, you know what I'm saying, mm. it would be as crazy because a, an assault rifle is made to kill humans. That's yeah, what it's made I, for. I, a lot it's of an people. assault rifle. Mm-hmm. If he had a hunting rifle or a shotgun, he'd have to bam, click, click. Mm. Pe- this was just he just pulled the trigger and swayed left and right or yeah. up and down or whatever mm. he's doing. Uh, so yeah. they're saying like he, um, the point is making like assault rifles shouldn't be so readily and easily available to the public like that. What does Johnny down the street need an AK forty seven for? Yeah. Other than to do damage with it, you know what I'm saying? Like, True. what the fuck you need that for? Um, yeah, basically, as far as I mean, there's no use for I mean everyday people to be walking around with automatic and semi-automatic mm-hmm. weapons. I mean, it's interesting that you brought up shot the other kinds of guns. Cause, yeah. I mean, as far as shotguns and handguns, you gotta be pretty much looking at the person to do any exactly. real damage. Mm-hmm. A hunting rifle, you might be able to, you know what I mean, From, pull out yeah. some kind of distance. But and even then, what is it? It's one shot and then you're reloading. It's mm-hmm. another it shot and then you're reloading. It's not. You're letting off a hundred round clip, like off of one trigger oh, pull. You know? dog. That's insane yeah. to think about. Just like like niggas Real. hear rap songs, emptying clips, like mm-hmm. literally. The Just wanted to mention, if y'all don't know, automatic weapons, fully automatic guns, are illegal to own mm-hmm. in the United States. Uh-huh. So are they really? You know, <laughs> I mean, technically, this guy had an automatic weapon because of a legal attachment. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, there's just loopholes, man, in the system. Thank you, NRA, aka New KKK, yeah, uh, for, now, for stopping movement in that process. Now, of course, as I mean, since we're on the topic of gun control in America, let me yes. just let me just drop a few, just a little bit of facts, real quick. The mm-hmm. United States has less than five percent of the world's population, but owns thirty-five to fifty percent of the civilian-owned guns in the world. Jeez. Um. We're the highest homicide by firearm rate of the world's most developed countries. Not surprised. Yeah. And we also rank uh, number one in firearms per capita. Not so surprised. Just a few things to consider while we're talking about all of this. Yeah, um, but, he, yeah. but he had guns. He had cameras set up. Yeah. You forgot to mention the mm-hmm. cameras he had set up to, to prevent people from busting up in his room. Oh, well, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm glad you brought that up because, you know, they always want to put the narrative and, you know, coming out, you know, we... We we said you know the white terrorists you know we don't mean all terror you know fuck all terrorists but like yeah. <laughs> the thing the thing is when it whenever it's a white person they always want to change the narrative to where it's mm-hmm. like oh man he was such a nice person and he was know? mentally unstable word yeah. got the neighbors on TV saying word. that's not the guy I know he helped my family build wealth yeah. word like, so it's yeah. it, it's like they always want to say oh he's crazy he's he was yeah. um he was mentally Make ill an excuse. a lone yeah. wolf a lone, a lone wolf. oh that's the but favorite it, one but it's like Renegade. don't it's like don't put that on the mentally ill yeah you know what i'm saying cuz that's, that's mm-hmm. that, cuz if he was a different color yeah, no cuz it's yeah. like no cuz like somebody who's mentally like no one that's like they that's calculated you know right. what i'm saying mm-hmm. he planned that out that's not something some somebody who's like ill or or crazy though he had a plan ready. He had a plan ready. That's what's evil. Yeah, it was. It Straight wasn't. Up. It yeah. It wasn't off the bat. He sent his girlfriend away mm-hmm. to the Philippines to be with her family. She, mm-hmm. well, according to her, she had no clue. Um, and he. This was definitely a calculated move. He was ready to kill people mm. before he killed himself. Mm-hmm. And, um, it's really disgusting. It yeah. really is. It really is. Now, not not to make light of this situation. At all, mm. I'm not making light of it. However, because you know, have a you know, just, just a bit of conspiracy theory in me. Mm. Um, anytime stuff like this happens, I don't always go straight to the conspiracy theories. 
Mm. I, you know, see what they're giving out, see the facts. Mm. And then I go to the conspiracy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm, I have to weigh out each side. Yeah. Now, when it comes to when it comes to trying to prove something or arguing something, if you show me facts that are like, you know, ironclad, mm. then I have no I have no other reason but to believe them. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I've seen ironclad facts on both sides. Like some conspiracy theorists would say, oh, it wasn't him, it was a false flag, it was this, it was that. I was like, okay, of course that's gonna come out. But I've seen some shit, I'm like, wow, how can you disprove this? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? For instance, is one, if you Google search his name, they reported the incident days before it happened on Google. And it's not a screenshot. And it's not, no, sorry, it is a screenshot, but it's not Photoshopped or anything. How you know? Because I've done it myself. If you do it, it'll oh. say a date before the incident happened. Mm. And I don't know if that's a glitch or something. You can make an excuse and say, oh, maybe that's a Google glitch or whatever. Mm-hmm. Typo. It's like, all right. And then you had the person in the crowd that said, you're all going to die tonight. You're all going to die tonight. You're all going to die tonight. Now, oh, granted, right. I can go on South Beach or I can go on 69th Street and I can run into a to homeless a guy that's going to tell me that every yeah. night. Mm. You know, th- th- there's excuses for everything. Yeah. And then, I don't know, do, do you know about the, uh, the website 4chan? Yeah. 4chan is like free reign to do anything. And when I say anything, believe me when I say that. Mm. Literally anything. And he posted, he said, you know, he said it's a, po- it's a possibility that something might happen in Vegas. With, um, the, you know, stay out of large areas, stay out of large crowds. The and shooter. Blah, blah. Yeah. No, no, no. It wasn't a shooter that posted oh. it. It was somebody on 4chan that posted it. Wow. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? I see facts on both sides. But that's just that just brings up more questions than answers. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Who, who no, else no, no. knew? Now, granted, th- these... Um, I, do you know what a false flag is? Yeah. yeah. A false flag... All right. Yeah, but, you know what I'm saying? A false flag is an event where they... Um, let's say they want to, you know, um, regulate gun control or mm. distract you from something. They make an event happen that'll put everybody's attention on this event. Mm-hmm. You know, like some in Paris, pray for Paris. Everybody's paying attention to Paris now. So you can't pay attention to what's really going on. Shit like mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. And that's always the first thing people say. This was a false flag. This is fake. This is set up by the government. Mm-hmm. That's all fine and daddy, but people still die, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whether it's real or whether it's fake, people still die. A lot of people don't understand that. Mm-hmm. They're so bent on, on, you know, saying this is fake, this is a conspiracy theory, this is a false flag. But the, people are actually dead, though. Yeah, Whether it's real or false flag, people mm-hmm. are actually dead. So, like, mm-hmm. at least show some respect. You feel me? But I have, a, I have a theory to why Americans are so, like, attached to guns mm-hmm. or why they love guns so much. I think it's because... Because they pussies. <laughs> <laughs> For the fourth time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. For the fourth time. Get her some Advil. Oh, no. Get her some Advil. Oh, uh, man. A helmet. I have some ice in the fridge. You good? <laughs> <laughs> We, shout, out, shout out to Nurse hey, Lala Lala. Hey, next studio, we can't have a chandelier. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's been taking people if you out. hit that, that, that's but, money. But anyway. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, I have, I, have, I have a theory to why they love guns so much. I think it's because it get, it's what gave W's power. Mm. Yeah. Facts. Because when you think From of the jump. facts. That's yeah. not even a mystery. That's facts. Word. Because <laughs> who was beasting on the bow and arrows? Bro, oh, we first, what? First of all, we had that game crackers a lot. bought gunpowder from the Chinese people and made. Who was missing on the poisonous? Bro, first, first of all, they they been trying to invade Africa mm-hmm. and failed for years. Many times, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Because they couldn't they couldn't see us in a fade. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Not they hand to hand, spear they, they really spear. couldn't. Bro. They really right. couldn't, they dog. No, and when, and when white people like they they talk about it in code. It was like, oh, white people came with their technology. What technology are they talking about? Guns. Guns. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Ooh. So that's what that's what you know. Uh-huh. That's why that's why they put so much in the military now because that's yeah. that's, that's the their only shit. way. That's what they know. Because hand to hand combat, them boys is pussy. Yep. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Not now. <laughs> not before, now. before a Navy SEAL just run up on you and kick you your ass. Know. And <laughs> all, all, <laughs> it's some all Caucasian there. colored people who are the. No, we're not saying all. We talking not about all. Yeah. When we say these things, we're talking about the general <laughs> idea of. Yeah. The Western world fucking enslaving. So the all Africans. of them are pussies. So we talking about these puss ass niggas taking your ancestors a, some pussies. Yeah, your ancestors like that. Your pussies, ancestors and y'all basically got the pussy gene in you because your ancestor was a pussy. naturally. See, we got the real nigga gene because we still alive. You feel me? No, it is a dominant gene. <laughs> no, no, but that's facts, Flocka Zulu. It's facts. It's like, facts. 
like you said, they couldn't see us through the hands. So they're mm. like, all right, we have to enslave these people somehow. Oh, right. So they went in. Clapped um, I heard that they bought they bought um, gunpowder from the Chinese people. Chinese That's people were using it for fireworks. fireworks. Exactly. And they said, oh, we can stock it and blah, blah, and, 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 and you Use know, it as projectiles. Yeah, yeah, use it as projectiles and everything. Like yeah. you said, they couldn't see and us on the hands. The projectiles or the spears. Or the, that's why they call it spear chuckers and everything. Nigga, because your ancestors was getting murked exactly. when they try to come I mean, to the village. Fuck yeah. you mean? Right. Evolution of the gun. Come on, man. man. Start with the cannon. Mm. It's some type of, yeah, start with the cannon. Start some type of projectile. Oh, shit, let's make it smaller yeah. so we don't have to have 10... Hundred niggas carried this exactly. one cat yeah. around so we could kill a couple people. Let's yeah, we want to turn this shit to the left. We don't need five niggas. What we gotta do is fast forward to now. We got guns that spray out a, a million bullets a minute and yeah, can and hit a low key. That's not even an exaggeration. Word, could hit a fly from. 200 yards out in the middle of the forehead. Ridiculous. Like, bro, you saw American Sniper. They got suits that they piss and shit in. That's wild. So, so that they can, can sit for days. <laughs> so they can sit for days on their sniper post. But oh, boy. we could go on we and could on. We could definitely. And on and on. <laughs> and on Body and on. And on. on. Like a uh-huh. <laughs> Moral of the story is yeah. gun control is important, y'all. Yes. So check this out, though. One last thing before we keep it moving. Uh-huh. All right. So originally the government... The Second Amendment was there because people didn't trust the last government. Right. So in case they wanted to bear up in arms and kind of overthrow the government, yeah. that's why the Second Amendment was there. The one thing kind of holding gun control exactly where it's at. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Of course, the states could do their own regulations, but that Second Amendment's always going to be there. Do you think that with the state of everything going on with guns at the moment, that we should take a look at the one thing, the one thing put into the constitution designed to keep us from protect to, to allow us to protect ourselves mm. from a, from a malicious or from a, a bad government. Well, no, that's true. Like I was just thinking about that like some people would say, "All right, oh, I saw a meme that said, "All right, the second amendment about, you know, right to bear arms everything was back then when guns couldn't shoot a million bullets a minute. Mm-hmm. Now guns can, so they should change it to adjust to the new type of gun technology." Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Exactly. But on the flip side, people are like Okay, that's true, but we need these because you don't think the government has something bigger and better, so we need to protect ourselves. You know what I'm saying? But I'm yeah. just giving you the story from mm-hmm. both sides. But so people are like, all right, but I should have a machine gun because the government has something bigger, so I should be, be able to protect myself. Has a myself. double machine gun. Yeah. Exactly. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? So but, it's just two sides of every story. But what, but what they don't realize is that the government has the power anyway. Regardless, that's regardless. True, yeah. regardless. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, no, I don't care how many AKs you got in your garage. If the, if they want to take some shit from you, mm-hmm. they will take some shit from mm-hmm. you. Them niggas will kill you with a drone. That's they will send I'm, a drone to your crib. Yeah. Yeah. The size like, of your Chevy Impala, word. maybe bigger, and take you and your family. And you're gonna be there with your AKs, word. yo. On, and, it, and it's some 19 year old, 200 miles away playing a video game. You yeah. Know yeah. Like, Trump is right? You know what I mean? Good Trump and his job, boxers, man. vibing, <laughs> Just, pushing the button, bobbing niggas. Yeah, yeah. The, using a joystick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they ain't letting that nigga it, push It really nobody. is just like Call of Duty, bro. Yeah. yeah. So but, it's um, like, you, what you think they made Call of Duty from? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, See, the, the white man. <laughs> <laughs> See, like, it doesn't even, I always felt like Call of Duty was them training us for the apocalypse. <laughs> but like, hey, don't say we didn't give you... <laughs> I mean, we gave you real life preparation. Hey, you know it's, what I'm it's, it's your funny. thumbs got preparation. <laughs> it's, it's fun. It's funny because at the time, what they were scared of mm-hmm. was government officials walking up and taking their shit. Yeah, like, like, take, straight up taking it. You yeah. know, taking their land and the resources. Mm-hmm. Like nigga, which is what happens. All they time. don't need to come mm-hmm. to your crib. They'll just garnish <laughs> your <laughs> wages. <laughs> they don't just, need to come to work. They'll just go. They'll just Shut dip down it. your social security. I don't care how many guns you got, nigga. If they want your check, they're gonna grab it, dog. Yeah. So you can't buy the virtual. Gun. So you just yeah. you gave them niggas the power on the sly. But it's like we're gonna keep our guns so we can stay protected. It's yeah, like all right, mm, all right. Or so, they'll put your name on some list. You what? can't go nowhere. You can't, you go can't nowhere. do nothing. And you ain't even know till you got to the airport uh-huh. and got Word. a finger in your the, ass. I need. <laughs> <laughs> Doug, and these guns. <laughs> What's in the bag, you sir? You've been selected for extra in search. Place. Please step in this room where there's one light bulb, one table, <laughs> and one finger. <laughs> and one finger. Hey, why's he got they gloves go, on? They go put that glove on and snap it. You know, <laughs> Hey, uh, bend why, over. Why, why y'all got candles lit in here? <laughs> 
Is there it's a reason my- why you got Vaseline? <laughs> oh, it's Jimmy's birthday. He's going to enjoy this. Oh. <laughs> oh, but anyway, oh, moral oh, of the story nasty, is I look directly into the camera. Moral of the story is... <laughs> <laughs> Wrong camera. <laughs> Ain't looking As at the I right look red into light. the correct camera, the moral of the Which story is... Which camera am I looking at? The this one. The, red the, moral, light, bro. the moral of the story is, them crackers tripping. <laughs> Just leave it simple. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Them crackers tripping. <laughs> but, moving on. Oh, you yeah. know who's tripping even more than them crackers. <laughs> Nah, he tripping just the right amount. No, he tripping just the right amount. <laughs> hey, Shout man. out to my nigga, Shannon, Shannon Sharp. Sharp. Can a nigga just Yo. have a good time? Yeah, Bro, man. let me celebrate skill. 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 Please Please celebrate. Skip, you need to quit. Skip, you need to quit. What was you on yesterday? I was on the Miles and Hendall <laughs> hard. <laughs> Yo, shout out to my Shannon team. Sharp, like real hey. shit, like. Can we can we give him an EBP award? Oh, absolutely! Oh, yeah. You should have been had I one. Mean, yeah. And if you don't know, and he already the, got the hand on. We haven't already. we haven't given out the EBP in a while. Yeah. So if you know what the what the EBP is, the EBP is an excellent black person award. And when you receive this award, more notable than the Nobel Peace Prize, might I add. Uh huh. Um, you will receive uh you will receive a knock on your door, and a butler in a three piece tuxedo with white gloves will present to you on a silver tray. A bottle of Hennessy mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and two tightly rolled fat joints. Yes. Mm-hmm. But if you like Miles, it'll be a pack of Black and Miles. Cause I know you're on TV, Shannon. So. so you can be on that Miles. You can have the gun. Wine the and Miles. Man, he, but, um, he play football. Give him some nice. And- <laughs> <laughs> give us some. But the thing, the thing about Shannon Sharp is like, not only is he real mm-hmm. and he doesn't sugarcoat himself for anybody, he knows what the fuck he's talking about. Yeah. He's knowledgeable in sports mm-hmm. because he used to play. Mm-hmm. Not only used to play, he's won a Super Bowl and he's in the fucking Hall of Fame. Mm. So he's the jack of all trades. He can talk to the block. He can talk to former players. He can talk to analysts. He can talk to them crack. He can talk to everybody, dog. That's why I love Shannon Sharp. He's a nigga from the block and he knows what the fuck he's talking about. What else do you want? Wait. I like when he tries to say soliloquy. <laughs> I've never heard that. That, 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 that. Granted. He does like move his mouth like somebody that doesn't have teeth. Like, you, you know how those old people do that that no uh, teeth uh, move the, that, that uh, shit. Uh, That's how his mouth looks. But he has a lot of teeth with his ironic. <laughs> <laughs> he has more teeth than he really. Po- anyway, let me stop. <laughs> but shout out to Shannon Sharp, man. I'll like, be on them. You know, <laughs> you, you you remember when um your your mom used to like put Vaseline on your lip. Like, oh, <laughs> like, the, the shiny. Oh my god, <laughs> that nigga being makeup longer than he's on the show. <laughs> but he um, always looks like he just ate churches. <laughs> I'm sorry, what does that I'm even sorry. look like? <laughs> you never just ate grease. You never oh, had greasy just looks? grease oh. all around nah, you. Oh my god, around your mouth. Area. You might as well just dip your face in the fryer. <laughs> like you, your face oh. be so greasy, nigga. Like oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, shout out to Shannon Sharp. And what's the opposite of a shout out? Uh. A fuck you? Uh, 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 but that's still a shout out. A, whis- a whisper. A whisper. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, whatever the opposite of a shout out, we sending that to this nigga, this coon. Wait, hold up. This tap dancer. Wait, hold up. Wait, wait, we still okay. talk about Shannon oh. Sharp? Oh, y'all want to talk about Shannon Sharp some more? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Y'all want to talk that. about the coon yet? Who, who, who the coon? Ray, who the coon? Ray Lewis? No, no well, we already spoke about him. Yeah. You talk about Cam Newton. Uh, uh, now, this, this, this. I want to defend my black brother, but I don't know if y'all know. Hold on, let's uh, break it down for the people first. No. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cam, Cam let's Newton break it down for the people. L's, bro. Cam Newton is, he needs to put the shovel down, man. He just keeps digging it. Stop deeper, digging that hole. He needs to shut his mouth. And deeper. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing, they keep asking him questions. No, no, no. Yeah, let me exactly. preface, let me preface. And he keeps responding. Exactly. Wait, let, let, let me, pr- do Marshall, do a Marshawn some, Lynch. Some, Pull a Marshawn Lynch. Some niggas ain't made for press. He was like, I came here to play football. I'm just here so I don't get fined. <laughs> they got that nigga on kids shows. <laughs> now, now, let me preface the story as Cam Newton. He's a former NFL MVP, baller. He's an athletic freak. He's one of the best quarterbacks ever athletic-wise. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think last year, he, was, he had an article in um, GQ or something. Mm-hmm. And they asked him you know, about the Black Lives Matter movement. How do you feel about black people? And he, in so many words, said, all lives matter. So fuck that nigga. 
Okay. I was defending him to the T because oh, he's a uh, successful black quarterback yeah, in the league. Mm. But then he hit you with the all lives matter shit. He been kind of you not def- and then now that it's cool, you want to throw the fist up when you score his touchdown last week. Mm. You tap dancing motherfucker, get out of my face, dog. Ain't nobody rocking with your ass now. <laughs> but what he do? What he do recently? Yeah, as in two days ago, bro. You just went on this. Uh, you no, no. I just prefaced it with the story oh, that you're damn. gonna tell. You prefaced it with why you hate him. Why yeah. Why? That's, no, no, no. I, pre- I understand why you hate him. No, 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 no. I, I can't say I. Hate, I don't know the man. I just hate his image right now. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I hate what he represents, okay. but I don't hate the man. You know what I'm saying? I can't hate somebody I never met before. But but uh, this it prefaces it for the story that Boomai is gonna tell what he did two days ago. Oh, what did he do two days ago? So he had an interview. Yes. <laughs> so um, it was after practice. He was after practice talking to the press. Practice. Mm-hmm. Yes. So uh, a, a reporter um, asked him a question, um, which happened to be a woman, um, asking like about his receivers and the type of routes that they run. Mm-hmm. And he like his initial response like he laughed. You know what I'm saying? He kind of yeah. He kind of he kind of chuckled, and he goes, "It's like oh, it's kind of funny, you know, hearing a female talk about routes." Like yeah, and he said female. Oh god, yeah. that shit was <laughs> cringe worthy. Oh, 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 like, what? <laughs> as soon as you said female, I cringe. Like, no, don't do that. Here, here's the, here's the thing. From watching it, I could tell it wasn't malicious. Of course not. But that nigga just dumb. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was like it, mm-hmm. it was a natural reaction, and it, it's kind of like he was he was impressed. But it was so condescending, it was like, yeah. uh, use all the wrong words. You can't possibly yeah. know about routes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and like, and the backlash, <laughs> yeah. oh Lord. Yeah. He already losing money. He, he, yeah, oh, yeah. He, he lost his deal with Dannon. Oh, wow. Dannon, the Greek yogurt. And you know women love yogurt. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And then Yo, people yeah. on the. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> We M- tell M- says women love yogurt and Terry Crews. <laughs> <laughs> so we talking about a nigga being sexist while I tell you. It's misogynistic. Wow. It's chauvinistic. Yeah. yeah. You Boom, chauvinistic man. pig. That's not chauvinistic. That's no, just an observation, bro. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. The people uh, that I know eat yogurt most of the women. No, that's real shit. The people stop, I know. Stop, 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 just stop, just stop, 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 stop. <laughs> Yeah, so back to back to Cam Newton. This is what you don't do. So, so, <laughs> so we got Cam yeah. Newton's cousin here. So it was, <laughs> it was like you wish he could grow up like this. It was like he was like, hey man, women can know about football, but they do love their yoga. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. I'm just basing it off the five women I know. And they all it's love yoga. It's a sample size of the population. The five women. So all the women are. That's all the women you know. All the women's in the world. You know? That's hey. a lot of women. Hey, man. <laughs> and two of them. Hey, man. Not all niggas steal. But they sure can run fast. <laughs> I, I, tell, I, t- I tell you what. I tell you what, Bill Ray. Sure but, um, <laughs> so yo, we talk about tap dancing niggas while we tap dancing. That moon quick is right? moon. <laughs> yo, but the backlash this nigga Cam Newton received, like... I was on Twitter all day today by mistake, by the way. It just happened. By happen. mistake. Yo, Twitter People, sucks you in like that. Duh. Um, this this woman, um, I, I, I don't know who she is, but she went as far as making a video where she threw a pass. It, and said, oh, girls can know about routes and how to throw them, too. And people were commenting, like, oh, you got a better on the Cam Newton. And, I, and, I, <laughs> and I, it's just funny to see both sides. Yeah. One side was like, damn, Cam, you fucked up for that one. You stupid. You misogynistic. Women know this. And, and to make it worse, she, she's a reporter for football. Okay. That's what makes it worse. She's, this you is her that, job. Stick a yeah. pin real quick. To make it worse... She's the reporter that follows his team. Yes, week exactly. in and week I was, out. I was just about for, to say for they his must team have specifically, his, not wow. ESPN, not NFL, for the Carolina Panthers. They so have good. to have a history. That's what I was. I was thinking that like the, mm. that, uh, a response like that. Mm-hmm. It's, it sounds like he collected himself. Like it's funny hearing a female talk about. Like he wanted to. He wanted yeah, to he jab was, at her. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? And and it could have been a slick. Everybody was on that side. Like Cam fucked up. Everybody on the other side was like. You know, well, you, y- y'all, y'all trying to attack Cam. Um, our president said he grabs pussies. Um, <laughs> um, everybody is like, that oh, is go it. to the nearest girl, ask them what a post route is. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was just hilarious to see both sides. I'm like, y'all tripping and y'all tripping. You know what I'm Everyone. saying? Now, 
here's where the monkey wrench gets thrown in the um, e- equation. Somebody dug up old tweets of this girl that Cam Newton dissed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Of her making um, racist this remarks. This girl? She, um, the tweets went something like, she was on a road trip. He said, oh, my dad loves telling racist jokes on every road trip. I love these racist jokes. And then <laughs> she was talking what? about Dale That's Earnhardt. the reporter? Yeah, the reporter that oh, Cam okay. did. She was talking about, her name's Jordan something. And um, she, um, in another tweet, she said the word nigga, but not maliciously. Like, she called Dale Earnhardt a bitch nigga. That is, and I'm not making an excuse that's for the it. Most it was just like, hold what? Up, hold up, hold up, hold up. That's the most malicious way you could use the no, word. No, I nigga. know. I was like, but and she put and I. Somebody called me a bitch nigga. We faded tonight. Tonight. And she she's put NI double G A. She's and a white reporter. She's a white reporter. Like, white as cream. <laughs> and then she released an apology. Like, I'm sorry about, about these tweets I tweeted four to five years ago. Um, I'm going to do better. I'm going to blah, blah. Like, no, no, you're Don't trying give to make me that a lie bullshit. Shit. And then. Some people are saying they canceled out because she's racist and he's sexist. So boom, both both of them suck. <laughs> <laughs> and then other people are like, "Well, stop bringing up racism. Sexism is a talk." Everybody's like, "But racism is so bad, you can bring it up any fucking time." <laughs> so like, everybody yeah, argument swirling around on Twitter. It's so crazy, dog. It's because everybody like this got a created a whirlwind. Mm. I wish you was on Twitter with me today. It was insane. <laughs> It, like, oh, I saw some like classic yeah, tweets, every, but they're offensive. Imagine, oh. imagine if Twitter was a place you could go. Oh, I, I'd never leave. <laughs> Everybody I'd buy on property Twitter, there. It'd be war. I'm not sure I'd want to go. Yeah. Twitter <laughs> would be a war zone, bro. Because dis- all that disgusting. shit. All that shit face to face, you faded. Yeah. You fuck, you killing somebody. Yeah, you you fuck that shit. Some of the shit they saying. You gonna need your automatic real pen. Yeah. <laughs> for real, um, for real. But yeah, like, like, what are y'all thoughts? Do you, do you feel like it was? Like you said, you you don't think he was being malicious. With I don't think he was being malicious. True. But what I what I do think it, it represents is I don't know it, especially for him, for someone in his position, for someone who who's had who should have had this kind of media training before, who should have known you know what you say and don't say, um, and someone who's gotten this kind of money and scrutiny, you should know that you know what. Um, I mean, first of all, you should you should have a, a better stance on the issue altogether. And honestly, you shouldn't have just demeaned her and put her down in such a mm-hmm. in such a coy way, yeah. point blank period. It was you know just what like, I mean? a, uh, like, childish. but <laughs> I, I it just kind of paints that picture that he he either he doesn't know better or he knows better and doesn't care. You know what I mean? So he definitely doesn't care. That man's smart. <laughs> uh, let me not say I know what he's thinking. Of. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, well. Like you both said, I don't think he meant. I don't think he had any ill intent behind it. Right. You know what I'm but saying? It, it was just like a, like a genuine reaction. Like, oh shit, it's just <laughs> funny to hear you talk about rap. Yeah. Right. Because nah, you, you I, know I, what I'm saying? I like there was intent, but it doesn't justify because it's, it's, it's still it's, condescending. It's, it's like in its when, innocence. It's like when like a like a old W was like accidentally racist in front of you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh god. And he was accidentally well, sexist. Nah, yeah. <laughs> nah, because they say sorry. W be like. <gasps> <laughs> they kind of look at you like, oh shit! Did that offend you? Uh, oh my god! But what the fuck you think, cracker? <laughs> I, I, I would, I would like to believe that Cam Newton. That was a personal response that was publicized, mm-hmm. basically. So you think him so, and that reporter have some history? So, yeah, he. She reports for the team. She mm-hmm. talks about racist jokes. They bring up old tweets. There, that something. There's something about her that gets to him. You don't think you're victim blaming? No, no, I don't, I don't care about Cam Newton. No, oh, okay. <laughs> I don't give a damn. Yeah, <laughs> that nigga keep making Nickelodeon shows and fucking up two weeks later. Like For I don't real. give a damn. So, mm-hmm. but he um, he buried himself with the black community with that All Lives Matter shit. Yeah, oh yeah. Because he's on the like he's he was an NFL MVP when they asked him that. So yeah. you're on the forefront. Yeah, like, Everybody's looking at you. You that one chance. Any yeah. and you said All Lives Matter. Any person who's Fucked part, up. any person who's part of that oppressed group. Who wants to justify the other argument mm-hmm. is, is fucking brainwashed, dog. Yeah, straight yeah. up. with it. Yeah, so, straight up. Or an educated. Yeah. I mean, I mean there's... That- I mean, there's always potato, potato. <laughs> yeah. There's always people that educated. swept up, swept up in that in that ideology, like especially like from from that environment. It's a very like athletes are very like, oh yeah, you got to be on some yes sir, no sir. Mm, type yeah, thing. that's like, true. I'm yeah. grateful to be here, sir. <clears throat> type of thing. Yeah, um, well, James yeah. Winston is like that. He answers all the portal. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, uh. Well, yeah, because you want to <laughs> get that check, right? 
Yeah, but that, they go. But, yeah, but you're willing to but, compromise. Yeah, it goes. It goes further. No, but that's you know what I mean. Oh no, I was just yeah. I was just oh, okay. merely oh, saying like, oh, yeah. you want that check, right? Like, yeah. mm-hmm. um, actually, but that's not the best way to go about it, obviously. But not at all. if you give someone things that they've always wanted and never had, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and you tell them they have to do this in order to live a safer life, true. Mm-hmm. And a happier life where they get to have all these things they never <clears throat> had before, never had access to, and probably wouldn't because they don't have the confidence to pursue other endeavors. Mm. They're gonna play the good boy. Mm. A lot of them will. Are not everyone is the, not yeah. everyone is a leader. Are they gonna play the good boy or are they gonna like force them and scare them into playing the good boy? Well, I'm sure that happens too. I mean, there's some people you know who are, are content in there because there are slaves that was fighting emancipation. Right? Of course. Yes. So I mean, speaking of <laughs> not being I don't know how I was going to do that transition <laughs> but we need to do a transition <laughs> yeah, kid, right here this is where you put the break like you did on the last episode Blah. Or, <laughs> or we could just I don't know keep yeah, start over keep, keep talking on, keep talking keep talking keep so, it moving on dog, so, they spelled yeah. deal getting a little cold moves. out here yes Yo, did, did y'all sidebar? Did y'all see the Def Jam twenty fifth anniversary? Minute? Yes. Yo, oh, not yet. Dave Chappelle solidified, solidified himself as the funniest nigga alive. Yes. Just know that. I know you haven't seen it, so we're not gonna talk about yes. it. Let's, I'm gonna go catch it tonight. Yeah, cause we we don't want to add an, another forty five minutes, cause that would definitely forty five. You mean two hours? Yeah. yeah. So if you haven't, but <laughs> Bri, if you haven't, check it out. Check it out. Yeah. Yeah, Def Jam, Jam 25, 25 year anniversary mm-hmm. celebration. DL Hughley, Dave Chappelle, and every other black comedian you ever wanted to see in your life in one yeah. place. So. And all right, Pete, to the past one. Yeah, yeah. Man, hey, course, man. Su- support comedy, man. Go to yeah. a, go to a show. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Support your local comics. Indeed. Where? Yeah, and um, you know my man Flocka Zulu was a stand up czar, so you'll see him soon. <laughs> Somewhere. I haven't used that Just word. Got right like, here. Hey, hey. You know Never. I, I, I perform in you know living rooms. You know yeah. at, at you know Bombay <laughs> in backyards. Back, if you have a deck, kids' birthday back, parties, where, there's more space. Where, make your funeral <laughs> funny. <laughs> where, where I perform, you know, I, I performed at baptism after after parties. You know, could, could, you, could you imagine a stand up at a funeral? <laughs> so uh, get a load of this stiff. <laughs> Am I right? All right, I'll leave. <laughs> We know who's not eating the curry goat after this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my goodness. So, so, fellas, I checked my calendar. And do you know what? Do you, know what, do you it, know what it is? It's about October. I, I mean, I know. I feel, I feel this. It's, it's about October. Fall. You know that what, means. What season is that? The weed, the, the leaves falling off the trees. It's, it's cuffing season. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, For all you gals and gents out there, it is cuffing season now. If you don't know what cuffing season is, I'm not gonna explain it to you. Get hip, okay? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> That's fucked up. No, but for real though, get hip. Yeah, yeah, get hip. The cuffing season now. Yeah. No, we got we're we're going through the stages. Yeah. Of cuffing season, you know what I'm saying? This is this is part one. You we're know. Pretty, yeah, we're pretty much yeah. your all-in-one guide. Everything you might need for, yeah, you know. to guide you through. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna bring you step by step. Through cuffing season. Mm-hmm. And what so, is you know, cuffing season, y'all? So cuffing season is that time of year where people just, you know, get that Jones in. I don't know what it's, it's, it's if it gets, if, it, it's a, if it's because we it being colder. Heat. It's because it's getting cold. You know what I'm saying? Everybody just gets, you know, hot and bothered and want to, you know what I'm saying? Cuddle it. up. Yeah, yeah, you get close to something. Word. I was, I was, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Most definitely. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so, so the first, the first phase in cuffing season mm-hmm. is... You're you're under prowl. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you purring, nigga? Yeah, you sound like a cat. You no, know, it's supposed to be a panther or oh. a jaguar oh. or a cheater. It's a cheater. Cheetah, sorry. It did. The, the, uh, the accent. Uh, See, ladies yeah, and gentlemen, that's yeah, how y'all know yeah. he ain't shit. Hey, he ain't hey, baby, shit. I love you. Don't listen to these niggas. I love you, baby. It's too uh, late, bro. Never, never. Too late, Cam Newton. Word. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I'd rather you punch me than call me Cam Newton. <laughs> I'll take it. But yes, as Flocka Zulu said, on the prowl. Scouting. Word, Word. scouting. So, scouting. what do you... Scouting. So, going around, you looking... What are you looking for? Women's. In a in a <laughs> in a potential as the kids call it, bay. Do you as know, kids, do you I, know hate I hate that word by the way. Do you know bay is an acronym? What is it? Not bacon and eggs. Oh. Before anyone else. 
Oh, that's. Oh, oh, they made that, bro. Niggas was. I read Aww. that on Twitter. That's gross. Babe, if, if Cam Lame. feels like it, babe, B dot A dot E dot before Whack. Eddie, what else? Whack. Yeah. Damn. But anyway, um, <laughs> what do you what do you look for in a potential babe? That's a good question. Mm. You look for someone you think you can spend a long period of time with. No, hold up, nigga. This cuffing season, you giving the wrong instructions, bro. Well, no, 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 no. No, <laughs> see, that's that's if. Oh, oh hold see, up, hold up, wait, cuffing hold. season can end up in relationship season. Yeah, exactly. Shout wait, out Bullet. Not to saying nowhere. it will. Oh yeah, shout out Bullet to Nowhere. Totally Artistic great. visionaries, but, cuff tape chronicles. I'm but, not saying. But hold up, album got, cover made by your, yours truly, the foul owl. Who kid? Hold up, hold up. Um, we got to We got to talk about that. You okay. know what I'm saying? Because. Different people going into going to cuffing season with different yeah. Intent- obj- intentions yes. and Absolutely. objectives. So we got to split that in half. You should brother. decide what your let intentions me, are. Let me break it down like mathematics for you, brother. First However, of all, you take the derivative of the... No. Um, so <laughs> you divide by the exponent. <laughs> you have your relationship guys who is that time of year. And mm-hmm. it's like, man, I want a girl to be with for Christmas. I'm trying to have someone for the holidays. Blah, 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 mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. No, no, no. This nigga. So, yeah, so what? I ain't, I ain't saying it in a bad way. <laughs> and then you got your niggas that's just looking for a little short-term love. A.K.A. trying to smash and dash. Not, Not dash immediately. <laughs> niggas who are basically... But I'm dashing sometimes Dash gradually. <laughs> smash and gradual dash. <laughs> the nigga that ends up in a situation. He's walking away. He's not running away. <laughs> niggas like this just waiting. Like he trying to steal a base. Right? Nah, he, he waiting to get tagged the nigga, in. <laughs> the, nigga, the nigga you got to ask, so what are we? That the, nigga, nigga. the nigga that says, well, this is a situation ship. A, a nigga that make up words. Oh, yeah. No, and, 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 and when you ask the nigga, so what are we? Nigga say, I'm here, ain't I? <laughs> Girl, we are humans. So that, that, that's sapiens. the next part of cover season. And what are any of us? Why are any of us here? Why? <laughs> Hit you I with mean, some hey, existential fellas, uh, shit. Piece of advice a girl asks you, what are we? Just hit her with the why are we? It's so, it, it, it <laughs> rubs the ceiling and rubs the chin. That'd be, all, why are we? Huh? Get all why philosophical on them. She, 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 she gonna purse her lips and be like, like I said, <laughs> what are we? <laughs> that didn't work. That's not gonna work, <laughs> bro. Excuse me. You didn't think past two seconds after that answer. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, you know, nigga, but I'm high. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> That's Word. the best excuse. But the, the difference, <laughs> <I'm high. laughs> the difference with being on that fuck shit, mm-hmm. y'all got to be on the same page. Absolutely. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Be honest. Yeah. In cuffing season, just be honest, because yeah. chances are someone else out there is looking for the same thing you are. Yeah. So if you just be honest Eventually. and be Wait. honest about your intentions, you don't got to lie and tell women I love you and shit just to facts. get some. That's soft, man. Big facts. Like, just be real. And sometimes even when you're real, you end up in some shit they ain't want to be in anyway, and then it gets rough. Boom. <laughs> now, we have... So... <laughs> for two seconds, we had a disagreement in the studio audience, but then they agreed with you after you finished yeah, your Yeah, because they ain't listen to the whole story, you feel me? But when yeah. you listen to the whole thing, y'all be understanding that a nigga be talking that shit. <laughs> <laughs> that real deal. That Holy philosophical Einstein, Nikola Tesla, futuristic... Okay, I'm going to stop playing. <laughs> Electric <laughs> car ass, nigga. <laughs> Let me stop now, with another uh, <clears throat> step in uh, on, the, on being on the prowl in cuffing season mm-hmm. is your turn-ons and your turn-offs. Yes. Now, those are important. Mm-hmm. Like, those are way more important than people think about. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, because if a person, you know, if, if one outweighs the other, then, you know, it's a drastic decision. If there's more turn-on to turn-offs, then you know what? I could fuck with you. If it's just more turn offs, you're like, you know what, this can't happen. You know, it, it what? Oh, no. I'm, oh, no, I thought you were saying something. Oh, but tur- turn offs happen in an instant, really. Like, oh, no, you absolutely. You've been feeling yeah. somebody for weeks and then they do one thing and you're like, ugh. Uh, <laughs> what? I'm not fucking with you for the rest of my life. Excuse me? You like you like that? <laughs> Are you just oh, doing man. that for me? Like, I just. Like <laughs> what? Of. Uh, like what? Breath. Yeah, turn offs. Yo, like what? If, if y'all go out, right, and she just, you know, she just took a shower. Mm-hmm. And she probably should have freshened up. But you smell that hmm, from her breath, right? That shit from like the back of the throat. That's kind of hard. You, that That's shit from the hard. pit of the stomach. Like, 
That's kind of oh hard. my god. That might be a that might be Turn a medical off. issue. Yeah, like, for real. It depends you know? on if the it's smell. a medical issue. And then you just be you're not you being compassionate, it. It bro. It depends on the You can smell. brush your teeth five times a day. I'm sorry. You're being you know? insensitive. If it's a faint, <laughs> right, if right. it's a faint, like huh, but if it's like that piercing halitosis type, like where you could smell it if you're at least she's three probably feet really away. self-conscious about if, it, bro. And it, it bothers her all the time. And yeah. here you are. That's why you don't say anything. You just never call her back. <laughs> Yo, y'all niggas fucked up. That tonight. is the absolute y'all wrong niggas. thing to wow. do, y'all. Wow. Capital W. Capital how would you? W. How would wow. you bring that in? Would y'all? Uh, all right. How would you bring that up? All right. If it bothers you, if it bothers you that much, bring it up. But how, don't suppress no. it. How, how do you, you bring, bring it up? up? Oh, did you, oh you, how do you bring it up? What that, did you eat today? That all depends on. The, <laughs> that's passive. That's passive aggressive. Don't no, do that. No, no, that's Eddie, trying Eddie garlic. Inve- that's investigation, right that's there. Passive aggressive. You get to the bottom of the point. You find no, out if it's shit. medical or if it's just food. <laughs> no, no, no. Probably the most passive aggressive thing to do is like, hey, I got some gum. I'm about to eat some. Do you also want some? <laughs> nah. No, don't but, offer. But that don't offer her gum without eating it first. That doesn't get to the point. Offended. That doesn't get to the point. It, it doesn't. Yeah, that's beating around the bush. Yeah. All right, but like I said, <laughs> when you're really bo- trying to get it, get in the bush. It... Okay. Much. I'm, I'm keep his hand here till you get like, hey, here's some, you know, you know, heavy Sorry. duty antiseptic <laughs> Listerine for no reason. Passive aggressive again. <laughs> <laughs> but any, no, but any y'all got any turn offs? Oh, my. Well, no teeth. Gotta have to. <laughs> well, shout out Obi Trice. That real, real name, no, no gimmicks. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, that's all you about. Nigga. Yeah, that, shout out to the Obi Trice song. We about to all turn into Shannon Sharp in this shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. my my mouth fell. But one one big turn off for me is, you know, I cuss a lot. What? Any woman that cusses more than me, like excessive cussing, I just find that shit on the. It's track. kind of a natural though, to cuss more than you. Yeah, no, that's, that's no, really but I've hard. met them. I've, 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 you know, I've, I've met women like that. But like, you know, can't is be it just the cursing I mean, or is it like how vulgar they are with it? No, no, no. The vulgarity is different. But if you're using curse words to replace words, you're just saying, you but know, every other sentence, is, fuck this nigga, fuck that bitch, yada yada. You know what I'm saying? Like, but let's say, but we we do that. I feel like 45. no, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's every third sentence with us. <laughs> oh, I thought it was every half sentence. <laughs> I feel <laughs> like if we were to dissect it, like twenty percent of the podcast would just be cuss words. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm with you. It. Could make yeah. a fucking, I fucking remix. Think so. Oh, I just said it. Uh, motherfucker, <laughs> said so. yeah. motherfucker, motherfucker, motherfucker. I think you more right than a bitch. <laughs> my mom hates that shit. She'd be like, "You keep cussing on the podcast." <laughs> Your mom heard that shoot. My mom heard this podcast. She might catch a heart attack. Bro. <laughs> no, I need no. to softball this in after she gets bad at hearing. You feel me, mom? If you're like, <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> my mom. <laughs> I know you heard about me doing this podcast that I'm actually making millions off of now. <laughs> and I know you're about 95, but this is what I've been doing. <laughs> no, I know if my mom heard it. After she, you done bought her a house, paid her medical everything. bills. She just make me feel guilty. She has to see the good before she sees the curses. So. Like, you, you, you always curse so much. <laughs> I'm like, uh, here we go. To wheel us back in <laughs> yeah. from this wild ass tangent. tangent. Um, my turn offs, I hate when, um, well, this is anybody, but especially if a woman does a shoes or, or, or a mouth open. Uh-huh. Ooh. That's just a pet peeve of yeah. mine in general. In general, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, I'm like, stay away from me with that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And another one, and this one, I feel it, it's, it, it's kind of pretentious, but. We all have one of those. I can't, I can't. Be with somebody who's not, like, at least remotely smart. Oh, uh, that's not pretentious. That's... No, because it, it, it makes you sound like you you better or you're more intelligent than people. But, it's like, sometimes you like you feel like, uh... You want to be on someone that's the same level. Yeah. yeah. Like, how, uh... You just need a similar intelligence level. Yeah. Like, there's different levels of intelligence. There's mm-hmm. different areas of intelligence. Mm-hmm. You know, you have... Musical intelligence, social intelligence, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Mm. Um, but street knowledge. So knowledge. you're just really trying to find someone that's on your wavelength. True. Because that person that you Great might not consider smart could might be out of water and some other shit. Well, you know you're right. That's what I was gonna say. They you're may. Right. I just want to find someone who could teach me something. You know what I mean? Yeah. That I don't show know, me that some that shit I that I ain't yeah. know. Well, what about you, Boomaye? 
Huh? When are your turn off? <laughs> I already said my turn off. What was it? No oh, titties. you were serious about the titties. Oh, <laughs> oh no shit. Not, no, yeah. I mean, that's like, what no of them. But yeah, I mean. No, no like, teeth. No, no. Oh, turn they said titties. <laughs> what? <laughs> Always think about titties, man. Damn. Love them titties. Um, <laughs> let's see. Turn offs. Uh, someone who. <laughs> no dead air. Come no dead air. Come All right. Back. Well, you know, turn ons. Mm. Now, one big turn on for me is, you know, since I have a very strong sense of smell, is like good hygiene. Like if every time I encounter you, you smell good. Like you don't have to smell fantastic. <laughs> you smell like you know what I'm saying? Nuts. Because, you know, people you smell, smell different from when they're in the house, when they go out, when they go here. You know what I'm saying? But if you just smell good mm. every time I encounter you, that's a big turn off for me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because I try my hardest to keep my hygiene up. It almost mm. sounds like you said off. Yeah. Turn off. <laughs> no, no, that's a turn on. Good hygiene is a turn on in everywhere. My bad, double box. Good double hygiene back. everywhere. Real quick. <laughs> One turn off is like women that start talking like babies all the time. Oh, I hate oh, that. Oh, I hate that shit so much. Talk to me like a like, grown shut up. person. <laughs> oh, man. We are grown the fuck up. Hey, you a grown ass woman. You do woman. it every now and then. You yeah, a no. grown ass woman. Don't, don't, don't talk to me <laughs> like, like I'm two years old. Not like every two seconds. <laughs> Wait. Oh, Lord Jesus. You, 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 not me. You, you, shut the fuck up. <laughs> you get like, that should make you like really angry. That should make you. <laughs> or like, what about overusing like pet names? Oh, my God. Oh, babe. Yeah, babe. Yeah, babe. Uh-huh. When you say overusing, yeah, do you mean calling you more than one or just. Like, oh, yeah. No, that's just like, she doesn't. Like she'll call you, I don't know. You never like, hear your name. Boo thing. Let's say yeah. boo thing. No, but boo things is too mild. That's yeah. I'm talking uh, about like pie, honey bunch, smoky, love knuckles. Yeah, like but that's all she referred Something to you like as cupcake face or some shit. Yeah. 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 In front like of it, the, and it, it wasn't front, even it, in front of the boys too. And it'd be forcing oh, it. Hey too. Smoochie Poo. It's like I just, uh, we we didn't approve I'm the, this. I'm with the gang, man. You, you just <laughs> checked the yes box. You already calling me baby. It's like what's going on, man? I'd rather you walk up to me while I'm with the boys. Like, what up, nigga? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Nah, yeah. I actually personally don't use pet names, really. That, like, nah, you barely. use pet names. I, I just, it just feels weird to me. Now, nah, w- w- when you're in the mood, when you're in the, in the lovey-dovey mood, you, you throw pet names out there. Nah, Cupcake face, how you do it? This nigga's so light I say sweet face. <laughs> he is so light Sweet scared. face? <laughs> Bro, can you, we, you try yo, to be different. Yo, cut the tape. <laughs> no, <laughs> sweet face. Baby, I love you. No, I'm just kidding. You, but you um, instead of sweetie pie. Hey, he call or, you sweet face? I'll say like sugar dumpling or something. Like that. Sugar dumpling. Yeah. That's yeah. cute. That's too many vowels though. Nah. Sugar, sugar dumpling. dumpling. Not the way I uh. not the way I say it. I say I say that shit sexy. <laughs> that nigga skating in the room. Sugar oh dumpling. sugar pie. Sugar honey dumpling. Bunch. <laughs> you know that I love <laughs> So did y'all show y'all turn on? Oh, pause. <laughs> <laughs> nah, good hygiene is a huge turn on. Yeah. You know, a good smell and things like that. But another th- turn on is confidence. Yes, in fact. your sexuality. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not like oh, I'm gonna wear it. I'm gonna wear this and I'm gonna have my ass out just because I like it. No, like you could be sexual and not show your body, and I know you're confident in your mm-hmm. sexuality. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Facts, I love facts. that. You know mm-hmm. what you like, and you know what I'm saying. You, mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. true. Or just a woman who's not afraid to be themselves. Mm-hmm. You know Facts I mean? also. Mm-hmm. And not that excuse to be ridiculous and wild for no reason I'm talking about. Like actually just being comfortable with your own thoughts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, with nope. what you believe in and not being ashamed of sharing those thoughts and views with other people regardless of what they think. For sure. True. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Another big one is humor. Mm. Yeah. yeah. For real. Well... Nah, yeah. humor is huge, bro. No, humor is yeah. huge. Yeah, no, it's definitely a turn off. She don't laugh at you. I mean, shit. you gonna feel like shit. I, I mean, you don't need yeah. to be. No, it's not even. <laughs> no, that's true. Or if she don't make you laugh, you gonna feel true. like shit. No, you made a good point. <laughs> exactly. You made a great Word. point. It's not. It's not even just laughing at your jokes. I was like a, a girl that could crack you up, like genuinely oh, just having yeah. you rolling. Yes, that's yeah. that's so that's so you sexy that. to me. And, and, and it's a <laughs> it's a big uh, difference going from like. Let's say you had a girl that wasn't so funny to go to a girl that's funny. Yeah. She say something like, look at you. <laughs> I'm impressed. I, I haven't experienced this before. Thank you for this. Every conversation, <laughs> I'm impressed. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to dial it back. <laughs> and when I was younger, like, I always hear, oh, if you make a woman laugh, you know, she's yours or you can get a new or whatever, whatever. And I, 
I used to like really think that. Mm. So anytime we went around, I'd crack a joke or whatever. But, oh you know yeah. What I'm saying? I, oh yeah. You turn you turn into the old. Hey, yeah, what's going on? Uh, <laughs> it's, yeah. If you could, if you could catch a woman off guard when she wasn't expecting to laugh, mm, mm-hmm. that's the best. That's the best. Mm-hmm. Especially women you don't know when you at like Best Buy and you flirting and you said joke. Oh my god, that laugh is like so. <laughs> ah, yeah. So you be flirting at Best Buy. <laughs> oh, when they cock that. No, I don't back. flirt. I don't even go to Best Buy. <laughs> what are you talking about? You already know what it is. When I they buy cock their head back, laughing, right? <laughs> but they be like, and they clutch, <laughs> and they clutch their pearls. <laughs> <laughs> they <close> the- <laughs> I'm she sorry. She's wearing that Best Buy wearing pearls. <laughs> Boy, you crazy. <laughs> now, um, with any relationship, whether you're in a relationship or you're talking or you're in a honeymoon phase or 10 years, I don't know, whatever, everyone has deal breakers, correct? Mm-hmm. Now, what are some deal breakers for y'all niggas? No teeth. <laughs> <laughs> That's a deal breaker. So if you loved her, you wouldn't like fund her to get some um, dentures, huh? You wouldn't like donate to her GoFundMe to get her some dentures. You're like, damn, you bad, but you ain't got no teeth. Shit, let's get you I, some dentures. I don't Fuck know it. if you could. I'm not sure if you could fit into the bad category initially with no teeth. Like if you were bad I before, I, no, no, hold on, hold on. If you were bad before and you had some like horrible, you ran into a wall or some shit, your teeth <laughs> fell out. You can still be bad. <laughs> you're not gonna be classified as bad without. If I walk up on you, your initial and, look. You know what I mean? Wait, wait, I, I look at you, and you don't got no teeth. Your initial bad. impression is no teeth. That's what Bro, you're saying. But yeah. what is no teeth? Like, how much teeth is no teeth? Where, how many teeth first missing? First of all, no where teeth? are you well, vibing? Less than fifty percent. Where are you vibing? <laughs> where this is an issue? That's one tooth, nigga. Yeah, yeah, like, what you mean? Like. Hey, Please be clear. Bro, what, what is it? What is your life experience? And I was like, dog, I just want a woman with teeth, bro. To be honest, with you. yeah, for real. No, I'm starting to think he has a profile on FarmersOnly.com. Yeah. Hey, 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 a female. <laughs> I'm tired of these women only offering me guns. <laughs> no, he. Did. I need some teeth. I want man. that gun. No, he was on Tinder, saw a bad one, be like, send me a picture of you smiling, <laughs> and then she deleted him. <laughs> Oh, man. She didn't bother sending the picture. Like, Why niggas want teeth pictures now? Want, <laughs> What's wrong with teeth? I want a I want a woman I can eat solid foods with. <laughs> exactly, right. bro. We, we go to a be, restaurant. We don't gotta go to Jabba Juice. We can't be eating <laughs> smoothies every day, baby. Damn. Right. Oh, no. <laughs> all all day eating pickles. <laughs> <laughs> like damn, I like steak too. What's a crunchy Jeez. shit on your menu? So, what, what you feeling? For, <laughs> what you so feeling for dinner, baby? Jello. Again? <laughs> uh, maybe the lime Jello tonight. <laughs> nah, this girl goes to Denny's and asks him to blend the Grand Slam. Like, can you? Oh, blend it? <laughs> oh, damn! Can you blend your damn, eggs? Damn, damn. <laughs> Egg soup. So, deal breaker. No teeth for Boomai. <laughs> Yes, are we? <laughs> a, a deal breaker is a con. You know, just generally though, you know. What I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like I, I personally like, never ran into this, but you know. I feel you. That's I one thing. I'm like, yeah, probably not. Probably not. Yeah, no, I feel you. No. I can't. I can't think of no major deal breaker. No, nah, a major deal breaker for me is. Um, yeah, three feet. Somebody all in the audience is saying kids. Nah, I don't think kids are a huge deal breaker. Three, six, six kids. kids. Lord Jesus. <laughs> Hell yeah, I was running the other way. Six man. children? <laughs> Come on, no, 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 no. Six no. kids? We, no, what uh, about six children from six different we, names? Bro, if you touch this, you're pregnant, no, no, That's G. definitely a deal breaker. First, I'm sorry. First, I'm not about way to be too much complication right there. <laughs> first of all, I want to apologize to anybody listening to this episode <laughs> that on has headphones. six kids. No, on headphones. <laughs> yeah. Because they, de- they definitely just burst your in- eardrum. Yeah, shabby just peaked. So, my bad. Yeah. Shabby just peaked. Lord Jesus. But like I'm, I'm six an excitable kids, ass. Hey. There's six people in my family. To be, to be. <laughs> <laughs> like in my immediate family. My mother, father, my three siblings, and me. To, to, That's too much. To, to, be, to be honest, I'm going to be like, hey, as, as, as many as you're willing to give me. Mm. Yeah, I want, okay. I, want, I want me a clan. Dog. You say that. As many you say w- that now. Yeah, you say that now no, too. No. You hearing daddy from six different voices <laughs> at 12 a.m. And you got work at five. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But a big deal breaker for me is, even though it doesn't seem like it because of my potty mouth, my black mouth smoking, and my drinking, is religion. If you're not Christian... I can't date you. Mm, nah. That's straight up. Because I'm Christian. 
So if you're not Christian, that that that's a deal breaker for me. If I'm talking, if I'm talking to a girl, she's atheist or yeah, you know something else different. I'm like, yeah. It's really what if you, I'm sorry. What if you really digging this chick? Like that's a part of me it. really digging her. That's something I look for. Yeah. yeah, that's top five things I look for. Yeah, but I'm, I'm not. not but I'm saying, yeah. what if regardless five, of five. that, you digging <laughs> her, bro? I've actually, what do you do? I've actually been in that situation. Yeah, like, I broke up with a girl because of that, and yeah. I was really feeling her, like yeah, yeah. On, on, a, on a level. But it's like, dang, we can't see eye to eye on that. Yeah, so we can't really see her future. Thank you. That's straight up. Like yeah. I, I, I've dealt with that too. Like I, I've gotten a whole. Oh, I don't really this, and I don't really, like. No, I need to finish the answers. Like no. I need yeah. to know what you about. Get off that fence and pick a side. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. Re- religion oh, is a, like a legit deal breaker for me. Mm. Right. Straight up, yeah. And just like we got to be able to see eye to eye, like ideology wise. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Just on the whole, like how you see the world. Our you know morals. I mean? Morals, you know what I'm saying? You can't like you can't be on some, you know, I don't really care what happens on this side of the world because I'm like, uh, that's kinda mm. cause you hear people who think like that. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Most of America. Like those exactly. are the people that don't care until it affects them directly. Yeah. Word. Yeah. When and they that, don't know it's, it's already bad to have that mentality. <clears throat> so yeah, that that that's a that's a quick like that. So we got um, I, I had ideologies. Mm. So I say that three times fast. Mm. Um, no teeth, religion, <laughs> and shabby. If you shabby, I can't fuck with it. So your deal breaker is them being you? I don't have a deal breaker. I'm sorry. No, that's cool. It has to come up as it happens. You don't have to have a deal breaker. You'll you know, know when you I mean, find in it. The, in the, <laughs> I can't remember. Yeah, you'll, you'll know when you yeah. come across it. I can't remember it. any particular situations. Mm-hmm. Except, so, except, except for when a girl's like, you remind me about, you remind me of my dad. I'll be like, oh. Ooh. I mean, that's Did good, you though. smash yet? No, it's good. <laughs> I walked away. <laughs> oh, damn. You remind me of your dad. Sorry, my dad. That's, yeah. It that's was a smarter a, move, man. Smarter hmm. move. She might as well drop kick you in your chest. But you know, no, I ain't walk away well, from yeah, a naked no, she, body. <laughs> but, no, no, that's good. Nah, that's but that. you know, <laughs> w- women are naturally attracted to people that remind them of their of father. the fathers. Yeah, yeah, that's natural. Yeah. And the same with men and their mothers. Yeah, the Oedipus yeah. Um, complex. Mm-hmm. Now, yeah. for you to be successful at cuffing season, mm-hmm. in this in this section of yeah, cuffing season. sorry, um, yeah. being successful on the prowl yeah. in cuffing season. Some tips and tricks from the experts who have been through a you know a few cuffing seasons where, of themselves. Where the, where the experts at? And we have some shade from the audience. To, I would love to meet those people. Make sure you pack your binoculars. Yeah. <laughs> Are they in my hoodie? Cameraman <laughs> got cuffing season on lock because he ain't never get to let go. <laughs> Clack. No, no, no. But I participated in cuffing season. But um, Cam has been cuffed. Yeah. <laughs> like, Cam the cameraman Like five cuffing seasons ago <laughs> Yeah Cam's like cuffing season What Cuff are you talking tight. about <laughs> But um Lost the key <laughs> You know tips and tricks Like one thing I really feel <laughs> Tricks is on that cuffing season <laughs> You have to just present your Absolute best uh, Let me not say absolute best You have to present your best self Do To you? this person Yeah I think so Well you talking from the perspective Of a nigga that was trying to get into a relationship During cuffing season no, even if you're just trying to smash and dash. But what's your? Because like women have standards; they're not just gonna smash anybody. Well, first of all, or they're not just gonna get a relationship all, with anybody. First you know of all, I I ain't gonna help no nigga on some fuck shit. So I, we it don't... may not be fuck shit to them though. But I still fuck shit. Also, I'm playing not. devil's advocate. <laughs> yeah, you said no, because when, when, <laughs> when you when you when you when you say when you say smash and dash, that gives a connotation that it's like you you running away from the person. Like the other no, person, you know what I'm all right, yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So, I don't mean like to give smash that and dash. Gives so it's the, like gives the idea that the person like did some. Yeah, fuck so, shit to get so, so, right, so I apologize. So, so, use that term. so if you're looking for a fling, you know, a what fuck buddy. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a better term. A mutual agreement. Yes. <laughs> friends with benefits. There yeah, you go. Yeah. There we go. You yeah. can get a friends with benefits in cuff season. In yeah. Cuff season, right? yeah. Oh, okay. Just to make sure we on the same. Yeah. Because Where I saw at, some. Bro? I saw some. I saw some kickback from the audience. I'm sorry. Yeah. 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 I saw Where some kickback from the nigga? audience. Cuffing Where? season. Y'all just got to get something. Yeah. You just need some warmth. When the winter comes, you look, know what I'm saying? Look, 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 look. Oh yeah, shout out to the thick women though. Y'all shout give me the best them. warmth. Mm-hmm. The best the space warmth. heaters. Uh-huh. Word. But like, I think <laughs> <laughs> as, as as far 
be having that warmth. As far as, as, what, as, as far as far as as pointers go, it don't get mm-hmm. cold in my hand. And in 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 how to go about like you know on the prowl, I think it's more like keeping your eyes open, mm-hmm. being confident, and like put like just putting yourself out there, like do things, go places, go meet people, yeah, meet people. I mean, we talking so much about what we think. Like, what about paying attention to what they're looking at? Yeah. You know, you know if it's someone that you're interested in, you got to focus in on their body language, on their eyes, you know, how, what facial expressions they make when you're having a conversation. Like, mm. and when uh, you do certain tips things, and tricks right. during cuffing season, be intuitive. Don't just think mm. you're talking some mess and because you think it's great, it's great. No. <laughs> Pay attention to their reaction. Yes. Look at body language. Read. Read yeah. body language, eyes, everything. Mm. So you, you, just, where, you just gotta pay attention. You know if somebody's actually interested in something you're saying. Where, where sure. I put my notepad? I, I would say be honest with yourself, <laughs> mm-hmm. um, especially mm-hmm. if you're especially if you're looking to be involved with somebody else's cuffing season. Know what you're looking for mm-hmm. in and of yourself. Know mm-hmm. what you're ready for. What you can handle. I mean, if you just got out of something serious, don't try and jump into something else serious. You know, yeah, take your time. Indeed. Or if you just if if you're not even ready to participate in this cuffing season this year, <laughs> sit out. Chill, right. you Maybe know what I mean? Be a spectator. Hey, yeah, watch. Yeah. Put hey, yourself on injury reserve. Give a couple alley oops. You know hey, what I'm hey, saying? Hey, no shame in watching from the sideline. Hey, not at all. Because study the game. See what you, you got in the game exactly. season. Yeah. Next exactly. year you come strong. In the mm-hmm. next cuffing season, you'll be. Breaking them up. Word. You know Word know what I'm like, you you, you know? might spend some time in the, in the gym, grow a chest, you know, and come you know, back stronger. You know, release that bird out the cage, you know what I'm saying? Word. One you day. Know, and, and another thing I think is uh, don't be oblivious. Be alert. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Be alert to, you know, every chance and opportunity you have because you can pass up some. Intuitive. Yeah. 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 Intuitive. You know what, yeah, though? I've, you know, I've, I've, I've been known to not realize I have Yeah, you, you can, you know, you can be intuitive thing, and you are you still going to miss. It's yeah. No, no. Yeah, it's not, I don't it's expect not a Virgo you to pay thing. attention to every single, you know what I'm saying? But It's not even a Virgo thing. Some women are just, they'll drop the, the simplest of hints. Like, it, it, they'll expect you to pick up on it. And if you and don't, you may. I gave you a chance. I, 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 you should have known I was in love with you. How? How? Where? 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 What? Where? <laughs> that yeah. one time I was nice to you. Was oh. it the time you liked my one picture from two weeks ago? Is that it? <laughs> but, no, yeah. let me stop. I'm <laughs> exaggerating. Yeah, I a little it. bit of exaggeration. Yeah. Yeah. Either I way, got, though. I got to I gotta know for sure, for sure. So mm-hmm. that hint got to be... <laughs> that hint obvious. has to be like... Obvious. <laughs> stamped on my head. You know I I'm like saying? you. Bam. And when you smash it. If you never want to be forgotten, make sure they finish first, y'all. Yes. <laughs> make sure they That's finish first. That's very important. Absolutely. Yes. You, you, you got to do it right every time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even if you got to use, you know what I'm saying, all parts of you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Are you talking about cutting angles? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> We're adults here. Yeah. Of course. Cause some cutlegus <laughs> is important to the ladies. Word, you know what I'm saying. Make sure you <laughs> love sure up, you... everybody. Cause, cause... <laughs> Lick cause... that clip like an ice cream clone. Word, cause sometimes you'll be in it. You know what I'm saying. Your dick starting to fizz, and you know, you know she ain't she ain't really get hurt yet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So you gotta. See, that's why you gotta. You gotta. Yeah, so your dick yeah no, no, you're right. Get <laughs> you're right. You kick off, and she's still waiting. Like her, her motor's still running. Yeah, so yeah. You gotta so, go down so, and do something. Well, so gotta, no, so you gotta, so you gotta know. So you know, when it start to fizz, it's like all right, you you pull out. You know, what I'm saying you do work, yeah. and you go back in. You, you back, know, when you get your endurance back. Yeah, you, you go know. back. You gotta wait till she really get in there, cause you know it too. You mm-hmm. Wait. Oh no, nah, she just chilling right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, yeah, yeah let's go back in right yeah. now, baby. Let's exactly. go. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> that perfect time between you. gotta wait the right time. <laughs> <laughs> that, that moment when you know she's just about to pull you back up. For real. <laughs> she'd be like, okay, oh, Or, no, no, you know what's another telltale sign? When she starts like grabbing like parts of you. Like, that's kind of what I was saying, though. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wow. To pull you back up. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I'm sorry. You're on that yak and that hand he was just breaking it down. First she starts grabbing the parts dog. and then she starts pulling he, he up. Trying yeah. to oversimplify yeah. and do long vision on that to shit. The layman because the white man <laughs> took us from Africa. Yeah, and the white man <laughs> told us that sex is actually no. <laughs> well, but yes. Man. But back to your original point. Make sure they finish first. Make sure it's a pleasure experience. Exactly. Porn has fucked you up, millennials. Yeah. Oh, Porn has fucked you, you know? up. Let her finish hey. first, my nigga. 
Hey. Trust me, it's gonna change your life. Hold on. I'm telling you. Uh, we should never to, stop texting you. We need to we need to point it. if you're a young nigga, right? Mm-hmm. And you trying to like you you've never had no experience, but you trying to kind of like see what it's like. Porn, yeah. Sex is nothing mm. like. Well, maybe amateur. Like if you watch like nah, you gotta watch. You yeah, gotta like, watch like. <laughs> shout out Rock and you Shade. Got, you got it. <laughs> Rock and Shade. Like Rock and Shade. What well, does everyone know who they are? Shit. Everyone on the podcast yeah. does. Yeah, yeah, right. I didn't even know yeah. y'all that's know about the, that. That's some of the best homegrown porn out yeah, there. Yeah, man. I'm that's sorry. some black love porn that's right a, there, bro. You could tell. That's a, that's why it's Yo, good though. All right, for those like y'all I said on the last right, podcast, right, right. it's like I'm looking like it's so it's natural. A, it's like, I'm looking, like, like you're some watching niggas, someone. Else. Some niggas don't know. Rock, Rock and Shay <laughs> is like a porn couple, basically. Yeah. Yeah. One of those couples out there that do their own personal videos, but they put it on Pornhub and shit. Like, I feel like they're, they're a famous couple. We, we talked we've about touched this. this button before. Yeah, yeah, we, <laughs> yeah. Hey, but, but, but for yeah. our new we, listeners, exact button. We've, we've advertised, we've ra- advertised for Rock and Shay like a couple of times. Well, we this is the second have, time. Hey, Rock and Shay, you out there? We you, need an interview. Use our use our discount code TPSG. Yeah. Yeah. Geekland Store. Rock and Shay. Geeklandstore.com. Use code TPSG for 20% off your order. <laughs> that has nothing to do with <laughs> if Rock and Shade. I mean, yeah. if Rock and Shade like Batman Batarangs, they might. <laughs> they, they might want <laughs> or Goku wigs. They or might want to get that they, 20% you know? off. So, but yeah, um, like Flaga Zulu said, porn has ruined y'all. It really has. Yeah. Like, just that old. It's, like, oh, it's a yeah, very you, sexist. You like this dick bitch. Porn, no porn shit like is that. geared. <laughs> Fuck me hard, daddy. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I mean, I, I sometimes watch porn on mute, y'all. Like, uh, I, I can't take the, oh, yeah, oh. fuck me harder, daddy. Uh, yeah. Yo, I hate those fake moans. Yeah. I feel oh. like when they be giving those fake moans, they be looking at their watch at the same time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, bitch, shut the fuck up, man. Oh, yeah. Shut the fuck <laughs> and it's like they don't even sound so good fake. though. Yeah, they oh sound like they don't even practice their moans. Well, they no, wait till no. they get on set. They're not professionals. Well, no, and, uh, and, and niggas think they can go and just do anything like they seen the porno. Yeah, like, no nigga. No, no, they be no, like no, slapping girls' not. pussies. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you like that? Like, oh yeah. <laughs> like, no, you I might not like that, it. my nigga. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that might not turn around at all. <laughs> <laughs> Women not with gonna, consent. They're not. They're not. Gonna, they're not going to listen to every direction you say and just let you nut on their face For every real. time. Just cause. Oh yeah, it's if like, you haven't. No, I'm not even going. I'm like, why? Why? Yeah, no, don't do it. Yeah, I know. Hey, hey, if you say, <laughs> please let them know you about just cause. cause. Yeah. <laughs> if, it's courtesy. It's yeah, a courtesy. You know, it's being considered. Like, that was. That's, that's, yo, there's that no was, excuse. You know, you've been beating your meat most of your life. You yeah. know when that shit about Because if you let her, <laughs> you, you can you you can let her know well in enough time before you bust. Yeah. Yeah. For real. You know what I'm saying? If if you let her know and she goes, mm-hmm, then you declare. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She's you know. But there's usually that next. one time when you don't give a fuck for like a millisecond, and it be the wrong millisecond. Yeah. Be like, like when should I? Oh, it's late. <laughs> have, 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 have you ever had the um, I might not pull out moment for a second? It happens too much. Yeah. Because when you, like, you, 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 <laughs> I don't know, like, there's, there's a lot of blood there, so you, you're you not yeah. thinking straight. Uh-huh. Yeah, exactly. So your mind is in a daze. Yeah. Like, and you're just like, oh my God, I'm just going to shoot the club up. But then it's like, <laughs> yeah. W- what's the name of that Kanye, what, Kanye West song on Jesus? I'm in it. <laughs> That's how you feel. Where it's, it's like, like it's yeah. like it's like playing chicken though. It's like at the last minute you're like, no, <laughs> <laughs> for real, <laughs> playing chicken, <laughs> for real. For real and it'd be like, like the right moment too. You'd be like, oh, oh, thank you, Jesus. That shit almost got in there. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but yeah, but back to the main point. That was a that was definitely a That's wild a genuine ass. thought. Tangent. Well, that's genuine. But um, right there. yeah. If you can't be real with Jesus, you can't be real with nobody. Well, you right. What? Wait, wait, wait. Hey, how we get to on. Jesus? Hold on. Like, thank you. Hey, Please. let's reel this back. Let's reel this back. Y'all bugging. Let's, let's reel this back. Let's reel this back. First of all, we were just talking about porn. But, but hold, first of all, that's a perfect place just to just yeah, drop just it. Just drop it, man. So, Oh, but before we go, <laughs> no, no, before we go, make sure you go to our SoundCloud, you follow our iTunes, you follow our Instagram and Twitter. We change it to TPSG Podcast. Make it simple. Find us on Facebook. Find us on YouTube. We'll have this video and the previous video and previous episodes up soon. 
So make sure you hit us on all social media. And also, if you're lazy, just go on Google. Search the physics study group because we're hashtag Google. Hey. Don't ever forget that. We uh-uh. like all I, the I need to highlight page. Webster with the Googleable tip. <laughs> Googleable. Google-able. But, um, you put TPSG where my money there. at, Webster. For real. But um, every day, all day, yesterday and today, I'm Dramatic, a.k.a. Loud Pat Chopra, a.k.a. Mild and Hand Dog. <laughs> 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 it's your boy. Shabby ranks, aka hell to the no, <laughs> to hell the no, to the no, 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 no. <laughs> hell to the no. Uh, it's your boy David Bowman, <laughs> aka <laughs> deeper hell to the no, <laughs> to the no, no, no. We're gonna harmonize that shit. Aka Chico Fantastico, yeah. and to my right, this is this guy over here, Flocka Zulu, <laughs> aka. <laughs> Sir Black Stallion, uh-huh. the third, a.k.a. Pablo Escovich, a.k.a. that nigga over there, a.k.a. Midnight Chocolate. Oh, <laughs> can't get darker than that. And make sure, you know. <laughs> <laughs> make sure when you finish, you go home. <laughs> Let me talk, nigga, damn. <laughs> Let me talk. Damn it, let's finish the damn. <laughs> Before you go, you make sure you smoke a spliff. Uh huh. You take a shot. Drink it. And you rub a nice fat booty. Smack it to We'll, we'll see y'all next episode. <laughs> with <Hey>. consent. <laughs> with consent. Ask her first. And also with Miles and Hen Dog. <laughs> Peace. Peace. Love, peace and chicken grease. Hey. Hey, for real, don't go fuck up. Cuffing season for the